dude, and I had, like, went through a lot with my dad growing up. Like, my person who was acting as my father, like, had me, like, stripping for him and, like, taking pictures of me and stuff. So I had, like, an extra sense, I feel like, when I know, like, something's dangerous. Right? That so, is rough. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. And, like, so I think that is why I am so, like, fuck you. Like, you're not going to take advantage of me. Like, I won't let that happen. Like, yeah. It's so interesting because it can go either way, right? It right. It can go the opposite way. Like, or... fight or you're going to freeze. Right. Type of thing. When did you realize that you could fight back against him? Like, When I was 17, I actually got in trouble because I wasn't going to unlock my phone. So, like, I was refusing to unlock my phone for hours. Mm-hmm. Like, he was, like, hitting me and doing all this shit to try and make me unlock it. And I had sent my passwords underneath my sister's door so she could, like, log in and just make sure everything was kosher, right? Mm-hmm. So eventually my dad got into my phone, and then he was like, there's nothing even in there. And at that point, I was just pissed off, and I was like, well, I'm not a virgin. And I just said it. And he, like, grabbed me by my throat and, like, started going crazy. And, like, I was, like, on punishment for, like, a day. And there was no school the next day because it was, like, some holiday. And um, then the day that we went back to school on Tuesday, I went to the counselor's office and I was like, hey, like, this is happening. I want to call my grandma. I want to get out of the school. I want to leave, you know. And so my grandma came and got me. And, like, right as we were getting my stuff, like, out of my dad's house, it was, like, just, like, as much stuff as I could grab. He's, like, pulling up and we're, like, driving off. And, like, that was, like, the time where I was, like, like, I'm never coming back. So I never went back. Um, but, like, he wouldn't let me talk to my sisters. Like, I was, like, the contact with my sisters was, like, cut off. So it's kind of, like. So they didn't live in the same house as you. No, they did. But I left and moved in with my grandparents. Oh, after that. And you right. said he wasn't your real father. No. So I don't even know my real dad. Okay. Um, my mom married him whenever I was, like, six months old. Okay. And then whenever I was, like, seven or eight, my mom got really bad on drugs. So she was, like, out of my life. And it was, like, her mom and him were raising us half and half. Mm-hmm. And we were supposed to stay that way, but my grandma was, like, really sick with cancer. And my dad decided to, like, move us, like, an hour away. So then it was just always with him. Mm-hmm. And I had a stepmom. She was, like, only 12 years older than me. I even remember, like, in eighth grade, I told her, I was like, hey, I'm scared of dad. Like, I think he's taking pictures of me. Like, when I'm bending over, I hear clicks. You know, like, I don't know what I expected her to do for me, but she didn't do anything well. Like, as soon as he got home, she told him what I said. I was getting in trouble for that. You know, so it was just like, okay, I just got to be quiet. And then just kept pro- progressively got more and more intense, like where he was like having me drink alcohol, you know, have me give him lap dances. Like if I wanted to like go somewhere, like I'd have to, he- it would be like, well, what are you going to do for me type of thing? Jesus. And then, yeah, like, I don't know. I let it happen for a long time. And the fucked up thing is, is like, he didn't really give me and my sister's attention, right? So I kind of like liked it for a long time. No, that like, m- it's it makes sense though, you know? Yeah, like, like I didn't think anything was like, I knew something was weird, but in my head, I was like, oh, well, maybe it's not that bad. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Well, that's all you know. I mean, right. you, when you're that young, what you learn about the world, you learn from the people who are raising you. Right. So it's almost like he groomed me into doing those things. Yeah. And then whenever I told my stepmom about stuff that was happening, it was more like, well, you don't need to wear short shorts around the house. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. So she's like victim blaming. Yeah. And she's still with him, actually. <sighs> and like my my acting father told everyone in my family that I was lying And, like, in order to talk to my sisters, I had to say I was lying. So I eventually did say, hey, I made this up, you know. And then I told my sisters, like, at a barbecue at our family's house, like, I wasn't lying. And they really didn't believe me. Like, me and my sisters don't have a good relationship because— So the same things did not happen to them? So it didn't happen the same way. um, But my youngest sister, which is his blood daughter, um, one night when he was drunk, he did, like, lay on top of her while she was sleeping and, like, dry hump her. Uh, multiple times and she was just like pretending like to wake up you know and he had done that same thing to me whenever I was like seventh or sixth grade and I woke up and I was like dad and he's like oh I thought you were his wife's name and like ran into the other room and it was just like never talked about um but yeah my sisters still are like in a weird place where like they want to they don't know if they want to have a relationship with him. Like they just want him to admit what he's done. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, yeah, uh, she's giving me lap dances, but that's all he'll admit to. Like he won't admit to like the other things. And I'm like, well, what more really does there need to be like admitted for you to understand? Like, hello, like the things that I'm saying, I didn't make up. Like, why the fuck would I make that shit up? 
I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's, it's all right. It's got to be hard for you, too, being a mom now. Oh, dude. You know, can you imagine, like, your children going through that? I think- like, it, at the, I feel like when we become parents, like, the things that we experience in our childhood become all that more, like, relevant and traumatizing in a way because, like, we imagine the possibility of, like, our children experiencing yeah, that, which it makes is horrifying. Mad. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.